next question is uh, 5a here uh, it is from module 3 here in this question fm receiver having s by n uh, 2.8 and the frequency is 1.5 kilohertz and the maximum permitted deviation is 4 kilohertz and we need to find the deviation caused by the noise and uh, improved input sign so s uh, is given and uh, frequency of modulation is given and we need to find the uh, frequency deviation caused by the noise so this is the formula for that uh, when we substitute here we will get the uh, phi is equal to 20.92 radian or if we put in this uh, in calci we will get this much and this is the formula for uh, finding um, deviation caused by the noise and the next question is uh, improve output uh, sign so uh, this is the formula uh, frequency deviation produced by noise maximum allowed deviation and next is uh, s by n uh, if you do that we will get uh, 7.3 next question is explain the knee diagram with the knee diagram frequency spectrum fm modulation wave this is the wave we will get and uh, this is carrier signal and left of uh, carrier signal is uh, lower side band and uh, right of carrier signal is upper side band here uh, carrier signal is uh, frequency of carrier signal is fc and uh, while going to left of that um, it will subtract uh, from the fm and 2fm 3fm and so on and while it is going to, uh, in the upper side band it will add up uh, the frequency of modulation signal that is fm 2fm 3fm and so on and this is a equation next question is 5c working principle frequency modulation using crystal oscillator and this is a circuit diagram for a crystal oscillator here on crystal is present uh, and this is the explanation for that next question is 6a uh, identify the noise suppression effect of uh, fm fm provide noise suppression through uh, these these are the types that is uh, capture effect noise immunity d m emphasis and free emphasis wide band characteristic frequency discriminator discrimination and the next question is uh, compare the construct of fm using crystal oscillator circuit uh, with uh, fm oscillator directors so here this is the uh, pn junction pn uh, diode this is and uh, uh, it is the uh, it is the de depletion region uh, it acts like a insulator between uh, these p and n uh, terminals and if, if it is for forward bias then the depletion re region will uh, uh, become thin and if it is reverse biased then depletion region will uh, increase and this is the symbol of uh, diode and it contain one diode and a capacitor and this is a graph of junction capacitor versus reverse bias v and this is the explanation next question is uh, with the block diagram explain a super heterodyne receiver this is uh, another uh, repeated question from model model paper one and here uh, the receiving antenna will receive the rf amplifier and it is given to the 
मल्ट मिक्सर एंड मिक्सर रिसीव आर एफ एम्प्लीफायर एज वेल एज लोकल ऑसिलेटर दैट इज एल एफ एल ओ एंड एफ एल ओ इज एंड प्रोड्यूस द सिग्नल दैट इज अराउंड टेन पॉइंट सेवन मेगा हार्ड्स एंड गिवन टू द आई एफ फिल्टर आई एफ एम्प्लीफायर एंड इट इज गिव ट्रांसमिटेड टू लिमिटर द लिमिटर विल अप्लाई टू द एफ एम डिस्क्रिमेटर विच रिकवर्स द मॉड्युलेटिंग सिग्नल सो दिस विल डिस्क्रिमेटर विल रिकवर्स द मॉड्युलेटिंग सिग्नल देन इट इज गिवन टू द डी एम्पसिस एंड फ्रॉम दैट द ओरिजिनल सिग्नल इज प्रोड्यूस दैट ऑडियो सिग्नल इज एम्प्लीफाइड एंड गिवन टू द स्पीकर दिस इज द एक्सप्लेनेशन state and prove a sampling theorem so this is four marks question so here only uh, the sampling theorem proof is enough so this is the proof that is uh, uh, fs is uh, greater than or equal to 2 fm that is uh, fs is sampling frequency and fm is uh, modulating frequency i think uh, till here this is enough next question is for a data stream draw the uh, line code uh, wave forms for uh, unipolar nrz polar nrz unipolar rz polar rz and manchester so this is the explanation for that and here is the wave form so in uh, unipolar unipolar uh, nrz here only uh, zero is zero and one is plus a and similarly in uh, polar nrz zero is uh, minus a and plus one is plus a and unipolar rz is uh, like unipolar nrz but uh, half of this wave form next polar rz is uh, both it is like uh, polar nrz but it has half of this wave form and it has both uh, a plus plus a and minus a then manchester this is the wave form for manchester next question is explain the generation of generation and detection of ppm waves with the neat block diagram this is the explanation and uh, here is a block diagram this is comparator uh, the modulated signal is uh, given to positive uh, positive side of uh, comparator and negative is co connected to sort of the generation and this uh, comparator will compare uh, if the message signal is greater than carrier signal it produce positive voltage and if it is less than carrier signal it will pro produce negative voltage and it is given to the uh, clamping uh, circuit and it will produce a pwm that is a pulse width modulation uh, signals and this is given to mono stable it will produce Uh, PPM signal. So this is the waveform. Here you can see sort of the wave is there, and uh, and this this one is uh, modulating signal. If carrier signal is uh, more than more than message signal, it will produce a negative wave that is here zero. And if if uh, message signal is greater, it will uh, produce modulation. It will produce a positive. that is here is a one and from that every falling edge of the pwm signal we will get a ppm signal and this is for uh, generation of ppm signal and this is the explanation and this is the uh, detection of a ppm signal here p 
TPM pulse is given to pulse generation and reference pulse generation. Uh, since PPM signal is traveled uh, for a long range, it is corrupted and the pulse generation will produce a clean PPM pulse and given to RS uh, flip flop. And if the input is coming from R, then it is uh, RS flip flop flip-flop will reset and it is if it is come from re reference pulse generator then it will uh, flip-flop will set uh, and produce PWM signal and PWM demodulator will uh, de demodulate the signal and uh, uh, give the output of message signal and this is the waveform for that.